Hello, New Beginnings. What a great day to be alive in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're getting ready for our in-person service this coming Sunday, Father's Day, June 21st, 2020. The first thing that I want to ask you is, please go to the website and pre-register. This will help us to be fully prepared for all those that want to come. Obviously, if you're not well, we'd encourage you to stay home. We do want you to know that children will need to be with parents at all times. We're not able with all the social distancing requirements to uh, provide uh, for Kidland and children's ministries. We do want you to know that Everybody will enter at one door in the back parking lot. Also, we're asking you to arrive between 9.30 and 9.45. This will give us the opportunity to practice social distancing in the entrance. Uh, temperatures will be taken. We are prepared to do this. Uh, also, hand sanitizers will be used by everybody. And one of the reasons we've delayed uh, this in blast news is because yesterday the governor came out with a new uh, order. And so masks will be mandatory for everybody. We want you to be aware that uh, attendees will be ushered to where they're going to be seated. Families may sit together and then we will practice the social distancing. We've had a dry run through this with our volunteers, and at all times, we will need to practice social distancing. I, when I come out to talk to you first, uh, we'll probably do a group hug. <laughs> um, Exiting will be by section, and it will all be out one door. I know that I told you all last week that we would be providing a live stream of our in-person services. We are working as quickly as possible to provide that for you. However, there have been some delays this week. We will be providing a recording of the service for you all to watch back at a later time. Do plan on checking in at live.nbschurch.com for updates. I know these are frustrating days. They're also exciting days. We're looking for a great celebration of Father's Day. We look to seeing as many of you as we can. I do want to encourage you, where people feel differently than you do, let's follow the admonition of Ephesians. Be kind, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ has forgiven you. This is our time to come together be a family, whether we have to come together virtually or whether we're able to come together uh, in person. We want to do our best to obey those that have the rule over us. Please communicate with each other. If you know somebody that doesn't have an email, doesn't get our weekly blast, call them share this with them, and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday in whatever context. God bless you. You are loved.